countries and immigrant cages that have hundreds of foreign workers worried they'll have to leave the province or the country, and some businesses worried they'll be out employees. So the question today... Not whether uh, there would be a pause considered <clears throat> on this economic policy change so that we can find a sustainable approach. You know, the feedback we're getting is there's, it's creating a lot of disruption in the workforce very abruptly. We're, we're monitoring this on a very regular basis, and we'll make some changes if we need to. Uh, but as of right now, I think we're committed to the February announcement uh, as of today. Uh, the reality of the situation... That February announcement by the PEI government was a plan to cut the number of nominees for permanent residency by 25% this year and to drastically reduce the number of sales and service workers getting nominated from more than 800 last year to just over 200 this year. For days now, some of those foreign workers have protested the change arguing since they're here already on work permits trying to qualify for a permanent residency nomination, they can still get that chance before their permits run out and they have to leave the country. Today, after the chamber AGM, they got the chance to make their case to the Premier. We want to be a part of PA, we want to stay here, and we want our government to cooperate with us as rules were changing over overnight previously, even we want our friends to support us because what will sir, I do? My work permit is expiring in two months. Uh, that's the best. The Premier said he sympathizes with the workers, but that the changes are necessary and are going ahead. What we're trying to do is to have a sustainable population growth through immigration. Uh, we have seen one sector uh, getting way too many nominations compared to where we need to put our focus, so we've changed that. PEI's workforce minister has said her department will call workers whose permits are set to expire this year, though she didn't make clear what can be done for them. Protesters said today they want specifics and a clear timeline. We want them to try even harder because time is on the stake and we cannot, well, we cannot stop the clock ticking, right? It is ticking and many of our lives at stake too. The Chamber of Commerce says it will keep pushing for changes and is pleased the Premier at least seems open to discussing a different approach. These foreign workers say if the rules don't change by the end of this month, they plan to hold a 24-hour hunger strike. Steve Bush, GDP News, Charlottetown. We now have a better